do our actual test review. Um, AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. This is brought on by the human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. The immunodeficiency virus is seen in several species throughout the world. Primates, cats can get it. You can get a cat with FIV. A lot of animals can get it. It's all unique to whatever species. So ours is human, it's HIV. It's transmitted through bodily fluids, blood, semen, and reproductive secretions, and mother's milk. Not so much saliva. It's the enzymes in our saliva that make it not so hospitable. The virus can be found in there, but it's most likely in others. And it can only survive for about 30 minutes on any given surface. So it's this bodily fluid exchange that really um, causes transmission. The average time, this is the scariest part, I think. The average time from exposure or initial infection to diagnosis for when, so this incubation period. Remember, you're infected with something, there's an incubation period, and then you show symptoms. Eight to ten years, you will have this. You get infected 10 years later, tested positive for HIV. My partner's negative. That's what's scary. So everybody should be tested. I'm all for whenever you have a new partner, you should just make a date and all go to the doctor together and then exchange your papers. Because this is horrifying. What happens is your immune system over the course of many, many years just starts shutting down and dying off. You kind of waste away. We saw some pictures of those deer from like chronic wasting disease. We were talking about prions. I think we just like Google it. That's kind of like what people who have um, a long-term HIV infection start to look like. And it becomes full-blown AIDS when your T cell count drops below 200. So remember, you have your T cells from your thymus. Your thymus becomes a little fat pocket, a little fat blob. Some goo. You don't, that's, you have all the T cells you're going to have. So normally you have anywhere from 600 to 1200, depending on who you are and what you've encountered. When you have HIV, these are dying off. Your body's attacking it. Once it drops to 200 or less, you have AIDS. What actually ends up killing these individuals is not the HIV infection. It's the fact that they get infected with something and cannot fight it off. So something as simple as a cold or a flu virus can take these people out. They get pneumonia, TB, tuberculosis, a fungal infection. Stuff that you would normally brush off is life-threatening. So individuals with HIV and AIDS are of a greater risk to us, uh, of a greater, wait, we are a greater risk to them than they are of us, that's what I'm trying to say. We have a healthy immune system. We're good. If our skin is in contact and we don't come in contact with any of this fluid, we're good. But if you have a little sniffle, like, I think I might be getting a cold. I'm feeling okay. I'll just take some time and I'll be all right. And then you work on somebody who has this, they can get sick from you and it can become life-threatening. So, if you work in Florida, in order to get your license, you need to take a small, like, day course on individual, on AIDS in general, but treating individuals with this because it's such a dense population of people with this in Florida. It's scary. It's awful. You know the chances of getting it from a needle prick? Do you know the percentage? Do I want to know the percentage? It's not what you think. Is it lower? Yeah, it's very low, right? It's extremely low. It's only like 1%. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I was really afraid you were going to drop a big <laughs> number on me. Yeah, we've put some, um, you know, sterilization. Like, you know, when you go to get a shot, they're opening it right in front of you. 
they're setting it up right there. You go to get blood drawn. Is that just from in a hospital setting? Mm -hmm. really? Okay. Because, like, I mean, I think main spread for that for needles is just drug people sharing drugs. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. yeah. But, like, you know, wor so yeah, working with right. someone, that type of thing. Oh, um, okay. That was just kind of like in a section of some of, like, my nursing stuff that um, just to eliminate that stigma of, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, I can't touch that, per you know. Yeah. Or what, you know, like, remember when Princess Diana was, like, the first one to shake. Mm -hmm. You know, person with AIDS, their hand, and that was like, like oh, right. Do. And so it just goes to show you that, like you said, we're more of a um, issue to them than they are to, to mm -hmm. us. So. I don't want to say it's actually kind of difficult to get AIDS, HIV, but if you look, like it kind of is, unless you're putting yourself in scenarios where you're encountering this. So healthcare workers, you know, they need to be aware of blood, obviously. If you're doing surgery on somebody, if you're taking blood from somebody who has this, yeah. But like your average people on the street, not yeah. so much. You have like more of a chance of getting like herpes from someone that you're cleaning or whatever, and you do like AIDS. Oh yeah, herpes is highly contagious, mm -hmm. super contagious. HIV, yeah. Not so much. I think the scary part is how long that incubation period is. And then it shows up as like night sweats and weird sicknesses that you can't get over and weight loss, which all of those things are not, oh my gosh, I think I have AIDS. It's not in the forefront of your mind. There are treatments for it, but they are incredibly expensive. If you have somebody with this, just, you know, check their skin as you would anybody. They're, you're going to treat them initially the same way you treat everybody. Make sure your room is clean because we don't want to prevent any cross-contamination anyway. If you have any client on you with an active bleeding wound, you're going to skip that. If you know somebody has AIDS, uh, not only do they have a harder time fighting off illness, they have a harder time healing any wounds. So you're definitely going to want to be mindful of that because you don't want to aggravate it. You can work with gloves. If it makes you more comfortable to work with gloves, you are absolutely, that's within your right. You can wear gloves, we can wear gloves with all clients if you want to. But that's my spiel on it. Did y'all do gloves during COVID? Uh, or just? No. No. We did masks, but not gloves. Because the number one thing was like, wash your hands. Right. And that's what we do anyway, before and after every session. All righty. Any questions? Sorry to be such a downer. It's my last one. All right. Let's do some more review. Can you hit the lights, please? So again, you are free to record it if you want to. What caused Florida over time to be have such a high HIV population? There's a very large gay population in Florida. Oh. AIDS is a big problem in the um, gay man population. So. Was that for the what we just did on what? the slides? Was that for review or just for today? Both. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is yes. Because what we learned today will be on that test. So, it's pathologies only. Here. Chapters 4, 5, <coughs> 11, and 12. So that's kind of what we did today. The immune system slash lymphatic system, skin and bones. And only pathology. I have the page numbers for these chapters if you'd wanna. For Salvo? For AP and Salvo. Nice. Um, if you guys wanna connect with Eli and get those. Um, I took to a picture of it, I can send yeah. it to the the group chat, so mm -hmm. our friends who are here. Yeah. I have it right here, too, if anyone wants to write it down. Thank you, Eva. Thanks for doing that, Eva. 
It's a short test. 31 questions. 21 multiple choice and then 10 matching. The matching is going to cover all those root words, prefixes, and suffixes, which we can go over today real quick. malignant tumor that's that's the bad kind of tumor not that I know there's a good one but mal means bad malpractice bad practice malfunction it's not functioning you got it here's a fun one necro Dead and death. When tissue becomes necrotic, it has necrosis, it's a condition of being dead. Arthritis is so bad in your spine. Does that feel good? Fusion. We're fusing. Soma or somato? painful. Herpes virus is that one? A. Let me just get 
Z. 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 Z.